big T-bone steaks to win. Like baby, baby lamb. Like baby lamb T bone sticks. They even have like the little T, the little T bone. They're so cute. <laughs> I love these things. They're so cute. So nice. Yeah, they're gonna hook up nice. So first thing you gotta do is heat up our oven to 400. cooker I cook on high heat and I cook really fast so 425 is good for me but for maybe somebody who doesn't know exactly where to or how how fast or how slow they cook 350 400 is probably the most that you want to go oh Lex thank you so much for, the, for those biddies look at that and he shared some emotes so y'all use those emotes up make sure y'all post it up today spread the word much love for y'all. All right, so we got these little little guys here. And we're gonna, um, I don't like to use too much, I don't like to use too much seasoning on my meat. Salt and pepper is it. Because I like to flavor everything else with a finished sauce. So we're gonna make a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon red wine sauce today. Yes, we are for those lamb. We're gonna play with this here. Anybody, anybody seen this before? Swiss chart before? Need a bitty command? All right, we'll get a bitty command. Yeah, Guntar, see, Guntar seen Swiss chart. It's beautiful, right? I love Swiss chart. On cooking shows. Oh, we on a cooking show. <laughs> right? All right, so Swiss chart is, is really good. It's fun. You have to season it. So, I 
round up everything and I started getting everything together and here we go. Now we cook it. All right, so we're gonna cook this. Um, Swiss chard, we're gonna cut it now. So we're gonna do, this, this is called a chef and I cut. You roll up the herb or greens or whatever you got going on. And once you roll them, you kind of just, you can go thin, but I don't wanna go too thin because I don't wanna, I don't want these to cook too fast. Because we gotta put garlic and onions and all that stuff inside of there. Okay? Alright, so the back end on the stem, you can use it, it's, it's edible, but nah. Nah. Yeah, rainbow chard. This is actually rainbow chard. This is just the red. I just picked up red. Um, they had yellow, they had uh, red, they had the green. Yeah, this is actually rainbow chard. Alright, so that looks nice. Wow. Woo! Alright, so I'm gonna put that in a little bowl. And we're gonna cook this last. I always, if y'all notice, I always cook my veggies last because they're so quick, so fast, and I like my stuff to be green. I don't like to cook it and let it sit, and then there you go, it's brown. No. to take out at the end. I don't need a, a um, 
lotion wire or anything to try to strain it at the end. It's already kind of I learned to cook family culinary art school both. Um, I actually been cooking since I was oh my gosh six years old I started with my father and my grandmother um, I've been in the kitchen and around food for so long um, it just kind of what's up Mac how are you rock steady in the kitchen no you're not late for lunch we just started we just started um, so yeah I have um, some really good cooks in my family. My father, my grandmother, my mother. Um, they have kind of paved the way for me to actually want to start even thinking about it. And ever since I've been able to work, I was 16, I've been in the kitchen. I mean, my first job was at McDonald's. Um, and then I kind of progressed into sports and entertainment. So I started there as like a prep cook, right? And then I learned so much from the chefs that I was around on a constant basis I've learned so much I picked up a lot from them um, I've learned things on my own I've created things on my own and I kind of became into my own chef if you will um, after that I pretty much got into the casino and I was into catering so before I came here to Florida I was a catering chef I used to cater up to up, not even up to I, I used to do parties of a thousand people plated like here's your plate here's your plate here's your plate all these plates you know so that I did that for almost nine years yeah so I was a banquet chef before I came here I had my own banquet room I'll post some pictures of that stuff for you guys to see because it, it's amazing it's amazing I mean I used to have my bakers make Cupcakes and cakes on chandeliers coming from the ceiling. It's just crazy. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm wild. Yeah. <laughs> so, all those years of cooking, I have 20 plus years of cooking. Um, so, all those years of cooking, I own my own catering business. I actually cook for people. I did my first wedding here in Florida, in Destin, Florida, with a beach house. Um, so, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I'm going to try to bring you guys merch with that as well. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much my story. I've just been in the kitchen forever, pretty much. <laughs> learning from this chef and that chef and so many different people around me and um, learning and teaching. And eventually, I'll be, I was able to learn enough to become a teacher. So that's why I wanted to be on camera. I want to show people things and do things that you guys Hey. We're gonna call you Ellie. Hi Ellie, how are you? Welcome to the stream. I'm pretty much cooking some lamb chops and Swiss chard and you kind of go to mashed potatoes today. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Yes, girl, hire me as a cater. <laughs> yes. Um, so I'm working on everything because I'm from Philadelphia, so my business is pretty much based there. And I moved to Florida, so I'm trying to rebuild everything here. So, yeah, Ellie, yeah. LED lights, edible lights. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right, I'm gonna call you Ellie. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for um, stopping by and saying hello to the community. Yeah, I'm in Florida now, um, that's all right. Working it out. So we really don't need to do any more cutting today. Really? That's a good thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out our burner. Yeah. It's time to start burning stuff up. Alright, we're gonna pull this paper up. So we don't burn anything. Alright, you guys can have a seat. 
So yeah, Lex, that's my that's my quick background. It's a lot more up, uh, a lot more to that, a lot more to that. I've, I've met so many celebrities, and I know a lot of people. I know a lot of chefs. Um, you know, so it, it's it's amazing. I've, I've I've had a really really great career doing what I'm doing, and now it's time to do it for myself. You know, that, that's kind of where I'm at. Thank you so much for the follow, Ellie. I appreciate you. So I kind of miss. Looks fine. Thank you, Spooby. Um, sorry, I'm trying to keep up with the chat as I'm going, so I gotta scroll back. Um, so for the most part, it's been really, really, really rewarding career for me. I like. I've always wanted to be a chef. When I was younger, I always wanted to be a catering chef. I've knocked out every single goal I've wanted to do except for this, and I'm doing that now. So now it's time to figure out something else. <laughs> now it's time to, to take it up to another level. Another notch. What can I bring? The, my question is, is, what can I bring new to the table that nobody has seen? Alright, so our oven is ready, and we're about to cook small pan. Hold on. You need more like a pot. That's small too. Oh, Lord. Some stuff for the channel for me to cook with and I really appreciate you guys and it's not even about that it's about you guys just being here and showing the love and supporting I really appreciate you guys being here yeah I need adult pants yeah <laughs> the omelet bar pasta burner that's exactly what it is so this is a portable stove right it's my portable stove I can take it anywhere I've done weddings with this thing. I've like, I've had people go to the park and be like, hey, you wanna come cook something? And I've like packed this baby up in my bag with whatever I was cooking and I was gone. Out there cooking. I'm telling you, I'll cook anywhere. You tell me to come on, I'll bring all my stuff. And I'll, I will cook. <laughs> seasoned pan, seasoning pans, yeah. Now this is a seasoned, seasoned pan. Yeah. That means it's, it's it's old. It's old, but at the same time, um, these are the best cooking pans. Season pans. Hey, what's up, Biggie? How are you? Thank you for stopping by. What's up, B? How are you? All right, so we're gonna put our nice little. Here we go with the sizzle, dizzle. We got the sizzle dizzle. That is the sound that starts everything. <laughs> this sound right here. That's the sound that kicks off everything. So we're just gonna sweat these out. So we're gonna turn this down and let it sweat instead of we don't want it to cook. You can brown it with some caramelization, but we don't want it to cook. drooling. <laughs> I know that's right, Lex. Hey. Hey. Really? Ain't no chitlins up in here. I don't eat that type of stuff. <laughs> I'm getting my nerves so bad. Yeah. <laughs> here they go. All we need is, is, is Wag and AJ and all of them to come in here. Here we go. <laughs> I'm like, Lex, I'm like this crew. Here they come. <laughs> it's like the, it's like you got the bloods and the crips and the, here, here they come. <laughs> so 
Then you get wet. He likes to get banned on purpose. It's, it's just nuts. Give me everything and more. Pressure you to eat those things. What's that? The pig feet? I mean, the chitlins? Oh. But, nah. I'm not eating no chitlins, no hormones, no pig feet, no tongue. I'm not eating none of that stuff. I'm sorry. Not. Not. They're lucky if I eat oxtail. And I love oxtail. Hog mom be hitting. No, we not doing it. Alright, so y'all. Let me grab something real quick. Substance that is pure, and I said, Darling, darling, feeling rich, although I'm poor. I said, Darling, darling, in your arms, I feel secure, darling.
just want the sauce. Now you can turn that up. You can turn it up like a big boy. When the alcohol burns off, it'll it just won't flame anymore. It'll flame like crazy in the beginning. You turn the fire off, it'll settle down, and then if you kind of put it back onto the fire, you'll notice that it won't flare up again. So that's how you know all of the alcohol is gone. Yeah, you back now. Breaks is gonna be better than ever now. Oh yeah. Scar left me y'all by myself. <laughs> you hear damn fool. Gotta put some water on that damn shit. <laughs> Don't ever put water on it. If you ever have a fire in your house and you can't get to a extinguisher or something you got around, throw flour on it, please. Just throw flour on it. Cornstarch. All right, so we got that good old bag of next door. Can I borrow some sugar bag? Flour. Cornstarch. Yes. Don't ever forget. That will put out a fire faster than you think. So we're going to add some sugar. So we're going to add about a half a cup of sugar to that. We want to sweet. Because lamb needs some sweetness. Sweetness. I got some mint in there. I'm I was trying to find it. All right, so we got our sauce. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water back into it and then we cooked everything out of it. So we can kind of dissolve our sugar. Dissolve our pepper, right? So it's garlic in there, shallots in there, sugar in there, salt in there, it's pepper in there, right? We work in it. So we're gonna add just a little bit of olive oil. And just like last time, we don't want, I don't want a thick, I don't want a, a cloudy sauce. I want a clear sauce. So when you want a clear sauce, you use cornstarch. And what you do is you make something that's called a slurry. Can I borrow some sugar bag? Yes, sir. Hey, neighbor, can I borrow some sugar? Sure can. I got a whole five count bag. Where your cup at? Because you're only getting a cup. No, we're not going there. Um. <laughs> yes, you're only getting a cup, Lex. Don't come, don't, don't you dare come with one of them red cups. Um. <laughs> so we pretty much just gonna put some cornstarch in here, right? And we're gonna put a little bit of water in there. And this is called a slurry. And you're gonna mix it with your finger. Now usually I like to let my slurry sit so I can like kind of dig it from the bottom. Just the cornstarch, but it's still wet to put into the sauce, right? So we're gonna turn this down. None of this oil. Make sure you grab a whisk because if you don't have a whisk, your sauce is just gonna clump up on you. You can use a spoon, you can use a fork all you want, but it's just gonna be clumpy. So you wanna slowly but surely add this, right? And just remember that you have to cook the cornstarch out. It's not done right now, it's just not. See how thick that sauce is? Trying to fire off at this point. So you have to let it sit and you have to let it cook. No, Lex, you can't have no. Four cups, that's like half the damn bag. <laughs> it really, Bobby did with me. Here we go. <laughs> yes. You gotta get the flick of the wrist going on. Keep it moving. If you don't keep it moving, it will clump. And you'll have some clumpy sauce. And I don't want none. No. A house is not a home with clumpy sauce. It's not. <laughs> That's crazy. Y'all all crazy. Alright, so. The thing about this sauce, it's not glossy enough for me. You know what I'm saying? Not enough bling in it. Up a little bit so you got to see. It's not enough, it's 
It's not shiny enough, right? So to make this sauce shiny, let's check on that little potato. Potato. Um, to make it shiny, you want about a teaspoon. Just a teaspoon. Don't put no more than that left. Yeah, um, just a teaspoon of butter. And what butter is going to do is going to gloss it up. It's going to make it really, really shiny. Right? This is a red wine shallot sauce that we're going to put on this lamb. You heard me, lamb. <laughs> no, but I love those emos wherever you got them. All right, so now the butter is going to thin out the sauce. And it's going to make it like silk. And it's going to make it shiny and glossy. Because we ain't got no glossy sauce. We don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Catch my drift. All right. Look at that sauce. That's like, that's like ganache, boy. I don't know what this is, but it sounds good. <laughs> yeah, some people try to substitute, but guess what? Ain't no substitute for good cooking. Nope. Ain't no substitute for good ingredients, and there's no substitute for good cooking. It's done. Benito. Out of here. We got that. Butter does shine. Mo yes, it does shine all sauces. If I was making a red wine demi glaze sauce, I would put butter in it. If I was making a chicken sauce, I would put butter in it. All my sauces get butter at the end as a finish. So if you guys look, look at this. Look at this. You see that sauce? Look at that. That's, that's silky goodness. That's, that's a sauce. So I'm hungry for real now. <laughs> you never made lamb before, but now you want to make it. That's, that's what we're here for. I want you guys to try these things. So the good thing about this cooking stream today, and don't forget y'all, I'm cooking tomorrow too. I missed last week because of my whole little setup thing going on. So I'm doing a double whammy. I'm cooking today and I'm cooking tomorrow. So we're going to prep something today for tomorrow. Because right? I'm on. Alright, so you see that sauce? That's like chocolate. That's like, man. Man. Alright, so you gotta put a plate. You gotta put a plate on top of it because if you don't, it'll develop like a film on the top of it and it'll be like gooky. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this in front of us on a little hot pad. Make sure you put a plate on top of your sauces, no matter what sauce, it's a gravy, sauce, whatever. Um, yes. Lost. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all for the subs, the follows, the hosts, all that good stuff. I appreciate y'all. Y'all always like so supportive. You guys are really, really so lovable. I'm telling you. <laughs> this is a five-star kitchen, E. Okay? Okay. So now, we're going to get... <laughs> you know I love you, E. But, um... Thank you, Spoopy. 
steak, lamb, whatever. Make sure you turn it up high, let it smoke a little bit, and then turn it down low so when you put it in the pan, you don't kill yourself. You know? I'm guys are watching this. So we're gonna put uh, some unsalted butter. I'm gonna tell y'all that. I use unsalted butter because if you use salted butter, your butter burns. It burns. I'll say it again, it burns. Don't use salted butter because number one, you wanna control your own salt, right? So you don't wanna put extra salt in the pan and then when it's done, it's salty because you got salted butter. And you got brown butter because it's got salt in it and salt, the burnt in the pan. So yeah, remember that. So we're gonna put about three tablespoons of butter. Now we're not gonna eat all this butter. We're just gonna sear in all this butter, right? So our pan is nice and warm now instead of hot. <laughs> That's funny, Lex. <laughs> So it's coming back up now. So I was trying to say, you guys always catch me off guard with something else, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, I was trying to say that these last two streams are going to contribute to the virtual cookbook. Are you down ready for that? Are you ready for the cookbook? Is the question. So the last five streams, I think it was it might have been four. No, five, three, did three. So five. And I promise that every five streams that I do, I'll create a virtual cookbook for you guys to purchase. And it can go to your computer and it'll have recipes, it'll have like short snippets of videos of what we did here today um, on any stream or what have you. Alright, and then we got some brown butter, but you don't want to burn your butter. Now let's grab some tongs.
put your garlic or your herbs in there too quickly because they'll burn by the end of the okay, so you throw a couple things of garlic in there for a little extra flavor. I'm doing good, my love. How are you? Have you come see me cook, girl? Like that side. 
So whatever side that you're gonna present your, whatever side you choose to present your meat on, you wanna make sure that side is side up when you put it in the oven because it's gonna cook on the bottom of the pan and you don't want your pretty side to be cooked. You don't want your pretty side to be cooked. So you wanna put your pretty side up and then put it in the oven. Okay? Okay. All right, we're gonna take a little bit more of this butter. Let me gloss it up a little bit more so it goes in there. Sorry, I can't see this part, but. All right, we're gonna put it in the oven. And these puppies are already, they're already medium rare. So we're just gonna put them in there for a little bit. I say about five minutes. Okay? Mashed 
can use a potato masher, whatever you want. You can use a fork. It doesn't have to be. I just use the tools at hand. I'll use my fingers if I have to. Right? All right, so those are smashed. And you don't want to smash them no more than what that is. Right, Loss? Right? You feel me? You feel me. Right? So you want to smash these no more than this. This is it. This is it. So now that we got the butter and everything in there, potatoes usually require a lot of salt, but we just want to keep adding a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Smash potatoes. Mm. No, that's it. You, maybe a little more milk, but you're using like minimal milk. Like we don't want mashed potatoes, we just want smash. So you gotta let it rest. Let the blood flow out of the meat naturally. Then you can serve the meat. Because other than that, it's gonna look like you got a massacre on your plate. All right, so we're gonna get all this little oil because I like to clean as I go. That makes sense, y'all. If I can just take two seconds to spiffy back up for y'all. Just a little bit. All right. So now, um, I don't have a flat top, right? So, let me make sure. There we go. Um, so now, we're gonna take our Swiss chard, right? Remember we had that earlier? Rainbow Swiss chard, yeah. We're gonna take that. So, I don't have a flat top, but guess what? I got a flat pan. And it's brand new. Word for it. <laughs> All right, 
sure. Because Evie looking long. He's like, I don't know what this is, but yeah, we doing it. <laughs> I got you, E. I'm going to make sure that you, we got it at the end. We got this. Okay? So we're going to bring out a plate. I call this my, my meat plate. When I got like nice cuts of meat, this is my favorite plate. My favorite plate of all plates. Yeah, I actually have a favorite plate. It's weird. Don't judge me. Alright, so now that you know, I also use garlic as a, a heat um, symbol to let me know how hot that pan is. If, if the small pieces start turning brown, then guess what? That it, It's hot. Chef! Hey! Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Hey, Ice! Welcome to the stream, y'all. Thanks for showing up, Chef. I got you. Chef, you'll never be late, okay? Tell you, Chef can show up at the end, and he already know what I already been through by looking at the, the end results. So you can, you can never be late, man. Never. All right, y'all. We got that garlic in there, and we want it nice and nice and dark. it up a little bit make it look nice my favorite plate in the world all right so then we're going to take a little, a little handy dandy little spoon and that we're going to do the smashed potato i can place some spaghetti <laughs> Barbecue, you play some barbecue, that's that's still good. I love barbecue. I was vegan before I came to Florida and, and I, I stopped because I just wanted to eat barbecue. So, I was like, well, I can't live in Florida if I don't eat barbecue. Sure. All right, so my technique on plating is always center of the plate, unless you're doing a special type of um, plating, scraping, all that little stuff. I can do all of that, but not today. No. no. All right. Now, you want to take that smashed potato. You're going to take your Swiss chard. You're going to kind of roll it around. You're not going to use all this 
Swiss chard vinaigrette that I used all day. And I could use, I know we made a lot, but that's how it works. It cooks down to nothing. Put some of the colors in there. Put that right in the middle. Take your um your little towel here and kind of dab your and be putting that baby right on top, right on top, right on top of it, right on top. Let's go. Let's burn it down. Let's rock with it. That's right, lost. That's right. We with it. And when I when I post pictures, I'll have different angles for you guys to see so you can see how the plating came out of it. And it looks a lot different because the camera's straight down. So I'm gonna make sure I hook y'all up. I'm gonna make sure I hook y'all up so you can see all of it. The goodness. All of the goodness. Five stars, Scooby. See, Scooby got it. Scooby got it. Scooby in there with me and MP. She in there. We doing five stars. <laughs> Spl <laughs> what? Lex, why you always come with these words? Now I gotta sit here and put splendiferous. Splendiferous. Yeah, did I say it right? What's up, Ice? How are you? Ice always peeking. I'm glad you're here, Ice. <laughs> That's my guy. My homie. Thanks, y'all, for those little emotes. All right, so we're going to finish. Now we got, we're going back to this. This is what we're going back to. This. You see that sauce? No. Do you see the sauce? Do you see the sauce? Whee! Ooh, baby. That sauce. That sauce. All right, so now, this is a red wine. Anybody who wasn't, I <laughs> about the <laughs> thing. Um... If anybody wasn't here, this is a red wine shallot sauce. We use Woodbridge Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. And we made a nice little sauce out of it. Yes. So, y'all ready? Sauce goodness. 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 Yes. All that sauce just for one tablespoon. Yes. That's how we do. We chefs. That's how we do. That's how we do. And then you don't need much. You fell out my chair. <laughs> Bump my head. Y'all a mess. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna garnish a little bit at the top. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
it's simple it's easy a lot of people think it's hard because it looks this way this is it i'm gonna try to turn it just a little bit this is it that's it perfect five star in the kitchen this is the chef rock experience y'all witnessed it for the fourth time we got another show tomorrow don't forget so this is lamb chops the swiss chard Yukon Gold Smashed Potatoes. Hit me up. Can I get a 10 in the chat? Am I, am, I, am I a 10? Can I get a 10? Can I get a 10? Rate me. Rate me. Am I a 10 in the chat? <laughs> but you would just tease the fuck out of me. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. We got 10.5. 10.5. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. I love cooking. I, I really do. I love cooking especially for you guys is what's up mo how you doing <laughs> you're like what the fuck did i just walk into you walked into the chef rock experience on twitter once a week yes this is it this is what we're doing thank you so much for the follow mo i appreciate it um if you guys can see um i do have some some pictures side of some some past food that I've done um you can always check this stuff out I have it on Instagram YouTube Twitter all that good stuff she's so dope she's so dope what's up dope how are you scores a thousand you're the best loss <laughs> you is the best Yes, so there you go. There you have it. Red wine sauce. Red wine shallot sauce, right? Thank you, love. Thank you. So before we um, dig into it, because I remember my first show. Do you guys remember the first show? Thanks, Mac. Appreciate it. What does it taste like? We're going to taste it in a minute. The, um, the first show that I did, I didn't take pictures of it, right? So I just kind of like dug into it and I know that you guys are going to want to see these pictures later of what we did today. I dug into it and I tore it up and then it was like I had to recreate the dish again off stream so I can get the picture of it and plus my daughter was like, hey me. So <laughs> every day I have to make, my daughter is like my, um, I'm 100% making your, not 100%? Ooh, that's a lot. That's, that's like... Somebody needs to feed Quan now, percent. Yes. Um, my daughter, she sets up the kitchen for me. She's, she's my sous chef. She's 14 years old. And she is well into this, this type of stuff. She's more of a baker. But she sets the kitchen up, right? She breaks it down for me. And her pay is, of course, I pay her money. You know, I want her to learn entrepreneurship. And her pay is also a plate. So when you see me cooking two of anything, just know the second one is for her. So, <laughs> thank you so much, Loss. I appreciate it. I just, I just do me, y'all. I just do me. This is me. It's the Chef Rock experience. I can't, I can't fake it. You know what I'm saying? But yes, so I have to pay my daughter in food. So she can. <laughs> he said, I will work for plates. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let me turn this little fan around here. I'm a little hot. Um, let's turn that up. Yes, so that's, that's, that's it in a nutshell, y'all. Thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate it. I appreciate y'all for all the hosts and follows, the subs today, the bits. Just being here is always a blessing for me. You guys got to understand, this is a dream of mine to cook and share everything I know to you guys. You guys being here is just enough. I promise you it's just enough. I just want to do this for y'all. I just want to I just want to put it out there and just be me and do what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all. I appreciate it. I trust me I do. But we about to taste this dish. Enough of the mushy stuff. Yes, Kwan. I'm trying to do it every day. If I can wake up every day cook for y'all and game a little bit later i'm uh, man listen I, i'll be done <laughs> i'll be done they can call they can call that a life for me if i can get up and cook every day so we're actually guys don't forget tomorrow we're coming back we're not even done today we're just tasting this we got something else to do today 
we gotta prep for tomorrow's cooking show. So if you didn't know we were cooking tomorrow, you know now. If you don't know, now you know. Maybe. Tomorrow is another cooking show, and we're gonna be making some pork carnitas tomorrow. So we gotta prep a little something today for tomorrow. So you can get your notebooks out on how to prep this. So let's let's eat, chef. <laughs> amazing yes I should cook every day that's what I want to do every single day if I can cook every day that's what the donations are for that's what we're here for all the subs and everything it goes back into the channel so I can be able to bring this to you guys and I appreciate it I, can, I can't say it enough I can't say it enough I cannot say it enough but we're gonna dig in. I know y'all like if y'all don't cut that meat cut the goddamn meat all right let's push this down it's to where's though you push it down that's why I that's why I make everything in the middle and straight up because when you push it down look at that it's still beautiful it's still beautiful it's still beautiful so we're gonna take some of these potatoes a little rainbow char I'm not gonna hold y'all up too much with this because we got stuff we got something else to do Yeah. <laughs> 